Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. If you're the kind of person that gets mad when empties is not about makeup, let me just share with you really quick and then you can be on your way if you want what makeup I used up, okay? It came from the last video. If you watch the Glitzy Fritzyville Wasted Again and Glitzy Fritzyville Basket, yeah, I used up the Wonder 2 Must Have a Matte Liner in Needed Nude. Love this. This is beautiful. I, I love that. It's a perfect nude for me. Uh, so I used that up, and this could be technically classified as skincare. It's the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer, so it's makeup and it's skincare. <laughs> I used this up too, and I won't go into a lot of detail here on these because I feel like in the wasted basket is where I empty makeup, and I talk about it pretty good there. And Laura Mercier did send this to me, and they've sent me like three, so I've got a good education. Let me toss that. Got a good education in this now. The dropper, don't like so much. There's a trick to it. You have to pull it out, all right, hold down on the plunger, stick it in, screw it down, then let up for it to draw anything in. You can't just sit here and do this, okay? That won't work. Then when it gets to be about here, for some reason you can't do it anymore. I've had this happen with three bottles now, and then you end up shaking it and trying to, you know, add stuff to it to get, because it's kind of thick, to get the rest out. Um, the opening is too small for the spatula that I have. It goes down this far. You just can't get it out of there. So, Unless Laura Mercier were to put this in a tube, I would never want to part with my money for it, even though the product itself is outstanding. It's a wonderful primer. It's got good stuff in it. And, you know, they say it's an essence. Silicone-free, beautiful, but a pain in the butt to use. I've used up another one of my e.l.f. sponge cleansers. I kind of like the smell of this. It's a charcoal cleanser, and I've not found anything except for... All right. Um, I did recently because one of you wrote me and said, help, I can't get fritziness from my palette. Okay. If you don't know it, I have a eyeshadow palette called Blessed with Sydney Grace and it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so humble. No, seriously. I made that primarily for women like me who are older, who want a certain look, don't want to mess with sparkles all over their face. And, you know, so this one's the deep version. But there's a shade in both versions called Fritziness right here. Okay, that shade, even this, <laughs> won't get that out. If you have a brush that is white or light on the ends, don't put it into Fritziness. Okay, that was meant for a shader brush. If you take a light colored blender brush and put it in there, you might not, even with this, be able to get that shade out and it will stain it. That's the first thing that I've had that I couldn't get out with this. Now this is meant to be a sponge cleanser, but I also clean my synthetic brushes with it. It's a lot cheaper than solid and I promise you, you will love it. It gets those sponges absolutely clean. White ones, dark ones, pink ones. There's no baloney going on here. This top notch and it's what? Four bucks, four bucks. Yeah, I went through this suave Juicy green apples. It's a shower gel, okay? And it smells like green apples. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a good cheap body wash. You do go through this, you know, a lot faster than some of the others that I've used here on the channel in the past, you know? I have a whole cabinet in the bathroom full of stuff like that that we have to get through, so don't want to waste it. My gosh! Yeah, it seems like every month I'm going to tell you I went through an icy hot. I actually have a place where I keep putting this on my back now that is dried out because I've used this so much. But anyway, <laughs> I've gone through another one. These oftentimes hit the trash before I get it in here, right? I just don't even think about things like deodorant that much. But if you ever wondered what deodorant I use, it's Secret, Secret Powder Fresh. That's the one that I use. As you can see, there's still a, a bunch in the cap here, but this here doesn't cost so much that I have to hold those little pieces in my hand and do that. You know how it is when you roll it up to a certain spot, they, it falls out on the ground and busts, okay? So that's what's happened here. So that's why there's a little bit up there. I've already got another one open. This is the one that I always use. My lashes are hair. So this is hair care, right? <laughs> 
I never know where to put this, <laughs> but uh, I have gone through another Grande Lash MD. If you guys don't know it, that is what I use to keep my lashes healthy and long and yeah, I use a lash serum and this is the one that I love to use. I love it so much that I applied to be an affiliate and I am an affiliate. So if you use my links below, there's a coupon for you there that will save you some money, but I will also earn a commission on it. And I don't remember. They may have sent this to me. They do that from time to time. So that's the problem with products that you buy and that get sent to you. You don't know which one did I buy? Which one did they send? Nevertheless, whatever it is, this is great stuff. And on one of my latest Sephora purchases, I took the opportunity, then since this was in the perks, to pick this up. I think it was the 100 point perks or whatever. I'm always gonna get this. <laughs> if it's in there, I'm always gonna get it because I am in love with the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. And you know, I'm not gonna tell you that I won't actually cough up the coin for this because I've done it in the past and I could do it again in the future. This stuff is so good and I am addicted. Let's see if we can get some air some Orbe air out here. <sighs> I love this stuff. Just like every Orbe product that I have, I think this is totally worth the money. cha -ching! It takes a bit. Look how big this is. It takes a bit to go through a shampoo bottle this big. Um, it just takes one pump, as you might imagine, with my little hair. <laughs> But this is the full shampoo from Living Proof and it adds fullness and volume. I really love Living Proof and I love this from Living Proof. So I have gone through and repurchased another one of these is now in our shower. I've gone through another one of these, but you might notice that this one's different. There's a rose in there and I had to. I didn't go, oh, I think I would like that. <laughs> No, I've tried just about every one that they have, and I still like the one with the pink cap the best, the original. So, yeah, I mean, this was okay, you know, but I only purchased it because they were out of the one that I normally have. I love Garnier Micellar Water. I will, of course, pick up another one, but I'll always get the one in the pink cap if it's available. This just has a scent of rose in it. I went through two bottles of the Good Molecules Sheer Mineral. You remember I told you, mineral is the way I have to go. I have discovered this. <laughs> I don't know. I keep thinking I'm going to do a video on it, but I'm not sure you guys want to hear about sunscreen from me. I thought about doing this video called Sunscreen I Love, Sunscreen I Hate. <laughs> not, I hate all sunscreen, but ones that I will use, okay, are these. I love, obviously. I'm, I'm gone through two of them this month. So Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30 from Good Molecules. There is a tiny little bit of a white cast, but not much. You really don't notice it unless you're sitting in the hairdresser's chair and they have fluorescent lights on and you look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Okay, but you know, <laughs> I love this. And yes, I will repurchase it. I finally hit the bottom of this Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum, which I really do like. And I felt like it did kind of help to minimize this, but it did not take it all away. And that's ultimately what I'm after. I don't know if this is Korean or Japanese. Uh, you know, I don't know how to read Asian languages. So I don't know what that says on the back. If it hadn't been for English on the front and being able to understand what their website said, I probably wouldn't be using this at all just because I like to be able to read what the bottle says is going on my face. I don't know. This could say acid on it. <laughs> I just don't know. But I think this is a lovely, inexpensive serum. It just didn't totally take that away and that's what I'm after. So moving on to the next. <laughs> But if you're hunting a serum that has 5% niacinamide, squalene, inexpensive, goes a good long way. This was a tube of stuff I didn't mind using every month. Really? Every month? <laughs> every night. I didn't mind using it every night. Will I repurchase it? Probably not. I mean, I'm not going to say no, but I mean, I'm just constantly overwhelmed with all kinds of skincare. That's the dealio with that and going along with stuff that was sent to me that I liked. I did use this all up. Wake Up Beautiful Serum. It's a retinol, which is why I used it. It was nice, but you know, like I said, I didn't notice that it did anything extraordinary to my skin. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. If that interests you, Pacifica is, and they make some good products. And this, I really did love this, but something happened and I couldn't finish using it because it like got all grainy 
on the inside. I don't know why. It has quinona and mushroom in it, which I've heard that mushroom is really good for your skin. Um, but it is just a cleansing balm, right? But you just put it on your face as a first cleanse and, you know, kind of take water. It turns milky, wipe it off, whatever you want to do to get the makeup off with it. But like I said, it went from being creamy to being really gritty and feeling like there was something contaminated in it. And so I stopped using it. But this stuff, I really liked it. I got this product in a FabFitFun box. It is from the brand, I think that's supposed to be Serum Kind. It's S-R-M-K-N-D. And it's a precious serum of royal black tulip. It's a hand lotion. And I loved it. And I've lost the cap. This stuff was really good stuff. Let me see if I can get... I know I can't. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I did get just a tiny bit more out of that. I like the way this stuff smells. Feels good on my hands. I used it like crazy. I had it here at the computer and after washing my hands, you know, I would come in and I would put that on. I think it's lovely and I wouldn't mind having another tube of it. Really liked that stuff. And then I went through this. I don't even know how many of lip balms I have open around this house. It's the convenience, I'm pretty sure. It's the squeezy tube applicator. It makes it so easy. I don't have to stick my fingers in a pot. And you know, that's why I finished this up and I didn't finish up my Tatcha or my Fresh yet. To be honest, those two are sitting inside of like groups of skincare. My morning skincare is in a bag. The Tatcha is inside the bag. And my night skincare is inside of a Kabuki kind of thing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. A Kabuki? Really? I mean a caboodle? So in order to use those two, I have to be doing my skincare. This is just sitting out on the dresser. So whenever I would go by, I would just pick it up and put it on my mouth. And therefore I have emptied up this Squeeze Me Lip Balm. And this stuff is really good. I really like this. Uh, let's talk about this one here. So I did use this up. Not on my face though. I mean, I love this stuff, right? But like I said before, I have so much skincare. In fact, a skincare declutter video is coming up. <laughs> and a giveaway, okay? Because I have so much unopened skincare, so much skincare that I went, no, I just, I need to move on, okay? Because things will expire. To me, that would be a tragedy for all of this stuff to just be sitting in my possession going bad when I could be sharing it, you know? So anyway, this is the firming cream from First Aid Beauty. Here's what I really love about First Aid Beauty. There's no fragrance in this stuff. They got good products, I think, feel wonderful. Like I can't tell you, wow, my wrinkles went away because I used this. I can't do that, but it's a lovely, lovely cream. It's called the Firming Cream. I guess there's a little tiny bit left in there that we could get out of there. Well, you can't feel that, of course, but it's like a cloud and it just, is lovely. I think I probably used about a fourth of it and I went, oh gosh, this stuff, because I've got the Tatcha cream open and, you know, peach and lily pudding cream and the Olay Hendrix. I've just got so much stuff open. I can't possibly get through it all, but I don't want to waste it. So I used this up on my legs, my arms, my feet and everything. Like I said, if you're in a circumstance like me, it beats just getting rid of it. So love this stuff. It's a good purchase. You guys frequently ask me what is underneath those eye patches that I wear on camera. What's under that? Three quarters of the time it's this, all right? It is an eye serum. It's the Genifique eye serum. And they say pearl because when the stuff is on there, it's white and it looks like a pearl. And then you just take this and you go underneath your eyes. And I've already got one in backup and one in each of my nighttime and my daytime bags. So <laughs> no, I won't be purchasing this again soon, but these are all left over from, I think last year's Christmas box from Lancome. I'm not positive, but this is something that I always strive to get and I always use underneath my eyes. And then the last thing is my Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. This stuff is, to me, the best vitamin C. I will be opening up one of the Mad Hippie Vitamin C's that is in my backup closet. When I try other products, I'm still dreaming of this. In addition to vitamin C, they have conjure root, uh, I can't read that, ferulic acid and hyaluronic acids. And you know, just you guys know, if you go back in my channel, you'll always see me talking about Mad Hippie. I just love it. I feel like I need to do an updated Mad Hippie video.
I don't know. The other one is still really good, though. So <laughs> I'll link that below if I remember so you can watch that if you want to. And on that note, I'm out. Like always, I want you guys to know that you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And that if you're not having a good day, a blessed day, you can get one. Just go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out. Don't turn around, uh-oh. They call me Sergeant Dirty, uh-oh. What? How do you even see through that? My baloney has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name. I feel like spicing it up. M-A-Y-E-R. I love to eat it every day. And if you ask me why, I'll say... <laughs> Cause Oscar Mayer has way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A. I just had to put that in there for those of you who think that maybe what I just told you was a bunch of baloney. I went through the suave little green apples. That doesn't say little green apples. Yeah. God didn't make little green apples and it don't rain in Indianapolis in the summertime. Hey, I'll tell you what. This year, it's kind of been like that. Body, uh, it's a pita cabinet in the bathroom that's full of stuff that <laughs> still some in here and a lot of my hair. What are you, a dog? <laughs> It takes a while to go through a hairspray this big. This is not hairspray. You idiot. It is Rose. You stupid idiot. Sorry, not you, PETA. Of course. When I try other products, I'm still dreaming of this. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world looking for vitamin C. Everybody, this is the best one. Da 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 da